City Council officially confirmed Tampa's new police chief. Thank you, Council. I won't let you down. But many people in the community, including some leaders, had concerns about her past and the process used to pick her. ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline spoke to one local leader about the hurdles Chief Mary O'Connor will now have to overcome because of those concerns. The Hillsborough County NAACP president is one of the people that has spoken up, and she says in order for O'Connor to move forward, she's going to have to address her past. I'm a little bit surprised that uh, the votes went the way it did. Shocked tonight as Tampa's new chief gets the green light from the city council. Chief Mary O'Connor's tenure begins with questions first about how she was picked to begin with. Where was the transparency in this process of selecting a chief of police? It's something the Hillsborough County NAACP president Yvette Lewis has brought up several times, including at O'Connor's confirmation meeting Thursday. Others have also raised concerns about about an arrest on O'Connor's record that led to a temporary firing from the force in the past. I say give me a chance. Let me talk to you. Let me explain who I am, what I stand for, and what this fine police department can do to turn the naysayers around. In order to move forward, Lewis tells ABC Action News that O'Connor will have to meet with the community and rebuild trust. She needs to hit the ground running, understanding and respecting everyone within the community. But above all else, Lewis says O'Connor will also have to look back at past department policies that have harmed black people, like an initiative Nick named Biking While Black by the community. A 2016 report from the Department of Justice found that the program largely impacted black cyclists. Admit there was some wrongdoing, pull in and let the wounds heal. Let's talk about how do we fix and heal these wounds within the community. O'Connor was asked about the program Thursday, but claimed she didn't really play a part in it. Um, I believe that the initiative had its purest intent was for safety and crime reduction, and it had unfortunate outcomes of over-policing with citations. So as far as a specific role, there's a lot of commanders at the department. I think that communication could have been better, but a specific role in that initiative wasn't, wasn't me. Lewis also tells me that actions speak louder than words, and so the NAACP will be watching O'Connor to see if she keeps the promises that she's bound to make over the next few months. In Tampa, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.